So I was playing Tekken 7 ranked online as Josie. I ran into this double gen player, uh, and he decided to pull the plug on me in my promotion match. The unfortunate thing for him is that I got the KO. The KO registered before he pulled the plug, so I got my promotion anyway. Now, I don't know if the guy knows that or not. He might, he might think that he managed to rob me of a promotion, but that's not the case. I didn't even send him mail for it. I didn't send him any type of mail. I just decided not to. It's, I'm not going to waste my time with that. Uh, but the thing, you know... Yeah, he can't, he can't take that L, he couldn't take the loss, uh, so he resorts to pulling the plug. I still, I still don't know if there's a penalty for people that rage quit often. I know you get a disconnection ratio, but other than that, nothing really happens. You, you yourself don't get demoted or lose points if you pull the plug, so I'm not too aware on where Tekken 7 is when it comes to that case, but I still think there should be some type of like a, a harsher penalty for rage quitters. Make rage quitters play against other rage quitters. You know, something like that. But uh, yeah, man, enjoy the match and yeah, you'll see the rage quit soon enough. Oh, it's about to happen anyway, I think. Next round. I was on a pretty good win streak with Josie, by the way. Before this match, uh, I'm on a two win streak right now, but before that, I had lost twice. But before that, I was on about an uh, eight to nine win streak, so it was pretty good. Alright, here comes the Rage Quit. Watch. Low parry into the combo. KO. My victory has registered. The guy pulls the plug, but as you can see, promoted a Vindicator. His method, he, it, it, whatever he tried to do right there, it didn't work. I still got the promotion. What a salty man. Anyway, I'm going to go watch the Avengers. Heard it was really good. Later, guys.